In Math 20-1, Topic 4.2, Solving Quadratic Equations by Factoring, you may want, before you do Topic 4.2, you may want to review all the different factoring methods from Math 10c. Uh, more specifically, you can look on Topics 3.6 and 3.8 from my videos on my webpage on Factoring, Chapter 3. Math 10c. Now, some quadratic equations have real number solutions that can be factored quite easily. The zero product property states that if the product of two real numbers is zero, then one or both the numbers must be zero. This means that if d times e is equal to zero, then one of d and e must be zero. The roots of a quadratic equation occur when the product of the factors is equal to zero. So to solve a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, where of course a cannot equal zero, you can factor the expression and then set either of the factors equal to zero. The solution are going to be the roots of your equation. For example, if we rewrite the quadratic equation 3x squared minus 2x minus 5 in factored form, which we can do by simply using the decomposition method, we can rewrite that equation, as you can see, 3x minus 5 times x plus 1 equals 0. Now this means that either 3x minus 5 has to equal 0 or x plus 1 is equal to 0. In the first case, if 3x minus 5 is equal to 0, we will add 5 to both sides and then divide si both sides by 3. We will find the solution that x is equal to 5 thirds. For x plus 1 is equal to 0, we can subtract 1 from both sides and we got x is equal to negative 1. So these are our two solutions to our quadratic equation, or as we call them, the roots of our quadratic equation. To verify this, we can plug that back into either of these equations to prove it. So if x equals 5 thirds, the equation will be equal to 0. If I plug 5 thirds into my equation, you can see that if you do the math, you will find that the left side of that equation is equal to 0, the same as the right side or if x is negative 1, the equation will also be equal to 0, meaning that if I plug negative 1 into our original equation, you will see that it will also be equal to 0. This means that the roots are 5 thirds and negative 1. This also means that if we graph this equation, that those are going to be the x-intercepts of the graph. So we have three things now that we can tie together. The roots of the quadratic equation, the solutions of our quadratic equation, and the x-intercepts of the graph are all going to be the same. 